Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to be reacting to some of the most dangerous and most crazy fidget spinners there are. A lot of people know what fidget spinners are, but a lot of people don't. For those of you who don't know what fidget spinners are, is unfortunately I don't have one. I don't know why I'm doing this video and not having one. Um, basically what they are is they're these little things that you can grab like in between your fingers and spin them. It makes it to where whenever you're bored, you can just like, you know, distract yourself from the boringness pretty much. It helps you focus and all this kind of stuff. Plus, they're just a lot of fun and you can do a bunch of cool tricks on them. And um, yeah, so that's basically what fidget spinners are. People take these fidget spinners and they transform them into these crazy things and people have made their own with like these crazy razor blades on the end of them and it's just absolutely insane. So today I'm going to be reacting to the top five most dangerous and crazy fidget spinners. <laughs> Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. What do you do when you already have one of the most dangerous fidget spinners of all time, but that just oh isn't enough? Gosh. The answer is pretty obvious. Fire. The power of no. the ninja star ADHD's world is using is already pretty brutal. As you can see, it slices up melons, destroy Coke bottles, and slices its way through juice containers. See, it even bounces off the, the drink, it completely wrecked, and still manages to end up sticking it to the melon. However, it's when the fire is added that the situation really begins to heat up. Just wrapping steel wool no around kidding. the planes adds a Seriously, whole other like, level of danger heat up. as they hope it'll make sparks literally fly when it's lit. I mean, it really doesn't disappoint. Like, the spinner turns into an insane wheel of flames, sending sparks in every direction, and Holy making for a pretty crap, cool visual, too. Guys. Even when the wool flies that off and almost sets fire to the backyard, too. it's hard to argue that like, it wasn't worth it. Like, it's gigantic if you look at that. Holy crap. Quiet thing. Go. Oh! Shit! Whoa, okay. That is a really dangerous fidget spinner. The blades on that are huge. Wait, is that the actual fidget spinner? Or is it just like a... Alright guys, so you guys love the steel wool. Okay, here's the actual fidget. So I decided why not pick the most dangerous fidget spinner where basically it's on fire and has sparks flying all over. So it's, it's got blades on it too. Like this dude has a, like a legit mask kind of for this. I don't know how it's gonna work out. I don't know if these are gonna stay on here or not, but hopefully they do and this will work out and be awesome sparking fidget spinner. for it. Okay. Can you imagine? Cause like, what if they blow it and then after that, like, flames just go on your arm. Dude, that is so cool. What the heck? No, that's the most Okay, I knew it was gonna be really spinner. cool, but like, that's way cooler than I thought. Number four. Okay, number four. All right, let's see what this is. Now, this is. spinner isn't as big or as flashy as some of the others on this list, but if anything, that's what makes it so dangerous. It may it's be like small, a ninja but star. It's pretty quickly that it's one toy you really don't want to mess with, and that it needs to be handled with extreme care. You literally get to see its creation from beginning to end, so you get to see just how wickedly sharp each point gets to be, and how much energy has been put into making it as dangerous as possible. It's crazy how much a tiny work steel shuriken spinner, small enough to fit in your palm, but crazy enough to do some serious damage. As soon as it starts to spin, you can see every perfectly sharpened edge, and it looks as cool as it looks ready to cut something wide open. It really does just go to show that you should never judge a book by its cover or a spinner by its size. Either way, let me know in the comments below if you would use this. I mean, I'd be too scared as I feel like I just chopped my entire arm off. Same, dude. I feel like I just, like, chopped the skin off. These people are using, like, some legit tools and just, like, spending so much time on this. <laughs> like, this is, like, the coolest thing to put your time into. Oh, the sound. <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> fidget spinners that's my question to you guys let me know in the comments who came up with fidget spinners number three it says a lot about this custom spinner thing that people get hurt so often and yet if Whoa. anything it only makes him more excited to carry on even after slicing his finger open scrubs up picked out the one spinner that was even more dangerous and decided to do a few experiments with it the spinner is either lined <laughs> with two rows of razors or box cutters but either way it's obvious that it's no kid's toy it takes a while to get the spinner up to its top speed of a thousand miles an hour, but when it finally does, the results are more than worth it. It not only manages to mess up an apple pretty badly, but just the lightest touch with a lemon puts a slice in it that goes almost halfway through the entire fruit. Like, given Bruh. how quickly it bounced off and away from the blades, that level of damage is really impressive, which is probably what makes that spinner one of his favorites. 
next our little lemon right here. We're gonna test it with this one. It's huge too. Like the size of these fidget spinners, whenever you put blades on them is amazing. <laughs> oh my key! Woo! What the hell? <laughs> Dude, that is so go. dangerous the fact that the blade just came Fish. off that easily. 1,000! Ah, oh, that's cool, that's cool. Dude, I'd be oh, so scared shit, that once I threw man. the lemon at it, then the Look at that. then it would just come off. Yo, I don't want to touch my finger. I'm so scared. It sliced it. Okay, next, let's move on to the other one. Right here. This one is the scariest one. Okay, this only has two blades, but it's huge. Oh. Oh my gosh. Number two. I've said already that fire is an element taking spinners to the next level, but what Steven Scherer did goes beyond even that. Okay, the handmade deadly spinners are dangerous enough, but when someone takes an ordinary kid's toy and adds things to make it extreme, that somehow feels like it's even more insane. Steven used a normal kid's spinner, but he lined it with matches, and suddenly what was a perfect normal toy became something no kid should ever get their hands on. After supercharging it to crazy fast speeds, the matches were lit, and things kicked up even further into high gear. There's a huge burst of flame at first, but even when it dies down, the spinner is still pretty cool. It stays lit, and instead of the huge burst of fire, there's a perfect ring of flames as it spins. When the fire finally Whoa. dies away, the speed causes the matches to fly off in every that direction. That looks like it took so much time, too. To get close. I mean, it's a different like, kind I'm of danger you guys, to the professionally the... made super sharp spinners, but it's still undeniably effective. <laughs> the amount of work people Ready put into go. this is just Let's ridiculous. Let's light the torch up. Woo! All right, hashtag fidget spinner if you think this is going to work. The torch is lit. Let's do it, Steve. Let's supercharge it and then add the flame. Here we go. Oh my gosh, here we go. Oh! It's so fast, here comes the here we flame. Go. Three, two, one, go. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, okay, I happen? see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. whoa! How are they not gonna burn the table? Whoa! Whoa! Can you imagine how hot like the whole whoa. fidget spinner gets? Whoa. Whoa. Like the second you go to touch it, can you imagine whoa. how hot that is? No way. Like Look even after that. the flame That's dies insane. out, you just burn yourself. Whoa. Like you'd have to wait like an hour. Whoa. Well not an hour, but you know what I mean. <laughs> That was sick. That was so cool. It's still going, it's still lighting. Okay, that's here's crazy. our honorable mention. As you probably already know, most spinners are small and light because that's what gives them the ability to spin so fast, but bigger is better is a saying for a reason. It was only a matter of time before someone did the logical oh thing and just how big you can make one, and it turns out the people over at Make It Extreme were exactly the guys to do it. I mean, it's not surprising given their name, but the spinner they finally came up with really was extreme. Every single part is super heavy duty and it's dangerous. It's like the size looking, of when the it spins, whole... you could almost pretend it's light as a feather. It's like the size of the whole Like it dude reaches head. the same crazy speeds as any of its smaller relatives, and it looks pretty damn cool as it does it. Best of all though, they even get volunteers to balance on the back of the spinner as it goes off beneath them, and that is not something a lot of people can say they've done. Wait, did he just say that it balances beneath them? Like they're standing on it? They have to use like a full like. Ah oh, man, my I have like a huge brain fart. Whoa. Okay, I was about to say, what happens if you fall? Like you're just gonna fall like to your death like on this sharp fidget spinner. Number one. They got this set up. So if you've ever wondered what the thought process is when making these deadly spinners, you're in luck because for Wolfie, it turns out the idea is pretty simple. It can all be boiled down to one easy to remember rule. When in doubt, add more blades. He actually tricks out three separate spinners in the video and all of them- When in doubt, add more damage. blades. It just depends on the kind of havoc you want to create. It's a great one saying. One of them has two different kinds of blades working together, while one is just a complete <laughs> overload of huge jagged razors. The third one is undeniably the coolest though, as it costs over $100 to make and starts with a cool gold spinner that is balanced perfectly. All he did was add three some blades to each end, but what he ended up with was a spinner with perfect Wolverine claws. 
Whoa. It's a shame we don't get to see them in action, but just looking at them as one of those fidget kind of spinners, there's only like two of. like sides to it, like wing looking These things, and then we added the three to each wing, so that's like part, six because blades. Did, because if you do, like I learned from my last video, it will dry up and uh, it won't spin anymore. It won't be a fidget spinner toy, so. How'd you even possibly get glue? I on have no idea. <laughs> Super glue literally just appears in random places. Anyways, back to crafting this masterpiece. Okay, so we finished up making the most dangerous spinner toys in the world. Mine's the most dangerous. Sylvia has one. I'll let her introduce hers Whoa. first. Okay, so on the one side, you see we have the thick, wide blades, and on the other side, we have the thin, pointy blades. So you get maximum cutting, I don't know. Maximum okay, cutting very, very of your hand nice. whenever you're holding it? How do you even Can like... I spin it is the question. This one is very, very close. But it does spin. This is spinnable. I have to stop it on an object. So like Sylvia Ugh. said, she used both blades to her advantage with this one. We got the wide blades on one side, thin blades on the other side. This one's gonna be deadly. It looks like a dope ninja star. I cut myself like twice. And there's her video cut, on the top at the five very most end, fidget spinners. She said she cut if you herself the video, twice. Please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe so you see whenever we upload a video. That was a crazy video. Okay, that was insane. I had never, I had never looked at the like all these fidget spinners because you know what? I just wanted to be like, you know what? If I'm gonna react to this, I wanna react to it legitimately and not like watch it before I film the video. I wanna like see it and have my true reaction on video. And that's exactly what happened. My my main question is, is like, well, I have a lot of big questions, but one of my questions is, what is your thought process whenever you go through putting blades on a fidget spinner? Like, what, what are you doing? Are you just like sitting down, like just chilling on your phone on Instagram or something like that? And you're like, hey, you know, I want to, um, Take a fidget spinner, a harmless fidget spinner, and take um, blades off of like box cutters and stuff like that, and then somehow attach it to the fidget spinner and try to spin it with blades on it. Now don't get me wrong, it's pretty cool, especially when you add flames to it, but these these people, <laughs> I I don't know, I would I feel like I would never be able to do this because I would just I would just get too scared to even like I would make it and then after that I wouldn't even do anything at that point. I'd just be like, eh, you know, spin a little bit, and then after that I'm like done. There's no way I'd make it go a thousand miles an hour. And like, especially my biggest fear is like, remember when you saw the guy like just try to put it on like a lemon or something like that and the blade just fell off? What the hell? Like, what if it fell off while it was spinning and just like went straight in your face? Anyway, I'm done rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, especially like this kind of video, like a reaction video. Tell me if you enjoy these kinds of videos because I really do love filming these. It's so much fun to react to things and um, you just get to watch YouTube videos while you film another video, which is just a really cool concept. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you have a huge thumbs up, subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this, uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.